What happened to the U.S. Navy's flying ship? In 1969, the U.S. Navy tested a revolutionary vessel that could lift itself out of the water. This hydrofoil ship had the ability to achieve unprecedented speeds, operate in rough seas, and outmaneuver other ships. The Navy's interest in hydrofoil stemmed from the growing concerns over the Soviet Union's advanced nuclear power submarines, which posed a significant threat to American naval dominance. Hydrofoil boats with underwater wings offered a solution. The Navy explored the concept, and by 1970, it had four prototype hydrofoils. The largest, called Plain View, utilized gas turbines and super-captivating propellers, enabling speeds over 50 knots. Despite strikes and delays, Plain View underwent improvements and showcased its potential. However, hydrofoils faced challenges such as weight limitations, maintenance requirements, and the emergence of more practical anti-submarine warfare alternatives. Eventually, the Navy produced the smaller Pegasus-class hydrofoils for coastal patrol, but they were retired after a decade due to high costs and limited utility.